Chicago, turn around, please take a look. We'll take a look at You know, I, I look at us as a program that's been built on, on bedrock, not on sand. You know, we've, we've been doing things the right way for a long time, but we haven't compromised anything. You know, listen, you've got to earn it to get here, and uh, it's going to take more than talk, it's going to take action. What's our why? Why do we do? Why are we doing this, guys? That's what it looks like. That's why. That feeling right there. And Northwestern, for the first time, is going to win the Big Ten West. The Northwestern Wildcats have won back to back to back bowl games. Fans, last month, Northwestern's Pat Fitzgerald was unanimously voted as the Big Ten's Coach of the Year after leading the Cats to their first Big Ten West Division Championship. Let's hear it one more time for your Big Ten Coach of the Year, Pat Fitzgerald. I think any time you get to that, that game in Indianapolis, it, it's a validation of what you're doing. You know, that championship game, uh, you know, now that we've been there, not that you weren't motivated before, now you're just totally obsessed with the, the wanting to get back and win that game. And so now knowing that, that that whole process works, it's just refining it and making it better. Hey, feet, 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 all right? Let's keep them moving. Be great teammates. That's right. Well, this is the first time we're going to see how guys deal with adversity. Not that when you don't get, you know, 225 off your chest 12 times is an adversity, but it's a little different when the physical component of our game uh, goes into play, along with the mental side of learning the schematics and the fundamentals in the play. So uh, you learn a lot about your team right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Obviously, to everybody in the room, congratulations on being here, right? You know, your teammates, you first of all took the time to say, I want to be in a leadership position. But then, as we kick it off, this is a responsibility, not a right. When we start talking about who we are, what we do, how we carry ourselves, the standard that we set, it starts in this group. You know, it can't be a some of the time thing, it's got to be an all the time thing. You know, I just challenge you that we, we do everything we can to eliminate all issues that can affect the team. And even if they gotta be hard conversations, that's okay. So w every chance I get, I'm gonna put this to you guys. Every chance. I think that group could act as a representation of the collective program. So it really allows a, a committee of guys to you know, bond together, build chemistry, and, and you know, uh, act as an accountability source for each other. As a young guy, I mean, I remember I was looking up to Awok and Justin and Clay too. Like, they set the standard for when, you know when when we were young. You know, you know, I mean, the list goes on. I mean, it's going to be us that sets the bar, and they're going to feed off that energy, you know, no question. It's a great way for the student athletes to have a voice, and that voice is actually heard by the coaches. Anything that we say, they're going to take seriously, and they're going to act upon it. This has got to be the glue. And it's always the challenge when we face adversity. Okay, and that's going to happen. I, I just don't know when. I did not expect it to be the way it was the first month last year, but it was. We're going to do something about it. We did. We responded boldly. Let me say this. Let me say this, okay? There's been no group I've been around that has faced more adversity and looked it right in the eye and hasn't flinched. Now, it's pretty fitting that we had to come out here and battle like this, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right? And that's what we've been talking about. Just each step of the way, just getting better each week, right? And you guys are proof that if you do that with a great attitude and a relentless work ethic, with the brotherhood as a glue, nothing can break that bond. Nothing can break that bond. Yep. <laughs> so hopefully those things are exciting to you. And, but, you know, what is this, what does this division of this team want to be? It's something I want you guys to think about. Where are we going? What's our why? What's this group's why? And if it hasn't changed, then great. We'll keep it the same that it, that it has been. You know, but the one thing that is, I think, rock solid is our brotherhood, and it seems like it's going in a good direction.
Okay, get your stuff out, ready to roll. Day one here. All right, let's just go through this real quick. Okay, coverage here. Um, Hunter? Uh, looks like they're rotating to three. Okay, it looks like it, because this safety where he is, right? Yep. What's he understand? Gotta get it out. Yeah, he's got to get it out. Why? They're bringing two. Yeah, they're bringing two guys. Number one, we're turning this way. That guy's coming free. He knows that. He knows that. So he's got to get it out of his hand quick. It's competition, and it's on. And there's five guys that are competing. And so everything gets graded. Everything gets evaluated. So it, and they, everybody, all those guys know that. So, yeah, it's, they're under the microscope, but we'll make it happen. Northwestern head coach Pat Fitzgerald was on Get Up today and said it was an 806 decision about his QB situation. What's the latest on the status of Thorson tonight? So going into that Purdue game, I didn't know the situation until probably one or two weeks before when uh, Clayton and I, Clayton pulled me aside and kind of told me um, what was going to happen. He was going to start. We were going to switch off, alternate throughout those, that first game at least. And then kind of going into those next two games, I knew the reps were kind of going to start to get limited for me. Um, so I just wanted to take advantage of what I could. All right, practice is like this, all right? So we're going, um, Hunter, you and uh, TJ come over with the ones. You three guys go with the twos, okay? Questions? All right, here we go, let's go. Having already gone through, you know, kind of the first year of, of college football in a sense, like, you know, last year at Clemson, you know, it kind of gave me a, an insight into you know what college football is like, and so that kind of made it a little bit easier. Yeah, big O. We go up. Huh? Boy, Chico's making plays. I'll tell you what. Chico's making plays. For all the guys, you know, coming into this spring, they were gonna really stress that you know we're just gonna roll the ball out and, and play and see what happens, and uh, you know everybody's gonna get the same amount of reps. I know you're trying to be like Baker. Uh, oh, I have long hair. Check. Check. I have long hair, dude. Hey, Baker's got a good look, but I'm not copying his look. I just need to get a haircut today. I mean, yeah, he's a walk-on first overall pick, so that'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool. But now that we know like what the future holds, that one of us five quarterbacks that are in the spring ball right now are going to be getting a really, really good opportunity to play a lot of football this coming season, it's just really exciting. Oh, yeah! Come on, JJ! That boy's got hands! That boy's got hands! Oh, he's running. He's running. Look at that speed. That's 4-4 four, four speed. Yeah, Marty! Woo! It's been fun to compete with those guys. Um, you know, we're all, we all want to, you know, have that spot. Um, and so it's, uh, it's been good. We've been making each other better. Boom shakalaga. What was that double dribble? What, what game was it? What game? Was it? Boom shakalaka. NBA, NBA jams. All right. Boom shakalaka. All right, we got everybody. Let's get going. Maddie, the leadership council uh, guys brought up to Jacob and I. They they'd like to condition like we did in the fall on non-practice days. They felt like that was really productive, right? Was that a, a feedback? Bowl season especially. But we got to be more active tomorrow. We got to be more active, more active, more active. All right, some guys are just plugging out and they need to be chattering and they need to, we, if we want to get communication, we got to expect communication every rep, every play, every day. Okay? And we just know that this is not something that they do, guys. They don't. They talk with their thumbs. They don't talk with their ears and their mouths anymore. They just don't. We have to demand it from them. And especially on the field. And we got to make them uncomfortable. So everybody needs to get reps in spring ball. Everybody. And the only way we can evaluate guys is getting them reps. Mm -hmm. We'll figure out who the ones and twos are in August. But you guys get where I'm going. So I know we're trying to get some continuity. I know we're trying to get some of that. that that's not for right now. You know, you got to try to create some chemistry up front in the O-line. I get that. But at a certain point, Rashawn, you know, it's 
there's enough guys who need enough reps. You know? Okay, anything else? Hey, I'm gonna try, we ready? Hey, hey, hold on. Hey, I got Uh, 90s night, basketball game uh, against Wisconsin. Got the throwback jerseys. Uh, what you want? What you want? You want cheese? Hey, I want one of those chicken mummies on. Hey, man. <laughs> Your plate. <laughs> Madi Mod had some of the guys over. He cooked for us, he whipped it up really good. Had a good time. We're playing Madden, just fellowshipping together with one another. Just building brotherhoods with people on the team that I can know I'm going to be able to hang out with outside of football all the time. And just being able to do that, I think it allows me to just have even more of a trust factor going into the arena, going into the battlefield. This man said, he said, I don't want your bike right now. He's scared. Trey, you want to play? Anybody get you a plate? You want a plate? It's so much more than football. It's about family and it's about that brotherhood. And I think it's very unique and very special, especially in college football today. What you want? Bay chicken. Bay chicken better for you. Oh, I know what you want, bro. Yeah. Of course. I'm gonna be like ten minutes later. Yeah, I'm driving. Wait, thank you. Good man, love you. Appreciate you. Yeah. Are you right? Or are you going now? So you're there. Oh, Jalen, that is crazy. You missing the front seat? No, we missing the front seat. Yeah, I almost hit him. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh! Wait, 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 Um, so explain to me your relationship with cupcakes. <laughs> you know, those who know me and know me well, there's some things that are near and dear, dear to my heart. You know, we talk about family, friends, and cupcakes. And um, those things, it's just something that, since I was a young boy, it just, I love them. Whoa, 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 whoa. cupcakes. You see all those? Yeah. Which one do you like? Yeah, you like that one? Just like your dad. Just like your dad. Yeah, you want that? Yeah, 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 almost. You know, my mom, she never understood it. <laughs> you know, she's like, you're, you're a Division One athlete, NFL guy, and you're eating cupcakes. Like, grown men don't eat cupcakes, you'd always tell me. Shaver holding on to it, and Miami went for one of his patented hits. I have a, a spot in town I really like a lot, Sweet Mandy B's. It's just something I kind of, when I went to school here, kind of stumbled upon, and I feel like I've had every cupcake shop in the world, and that's the best one. You know, now it's like, now I'm back here, it's like, I bring my kid here now. Is, is this little one? That's the little guy running around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's almost two. Yeah. It's going to be a couple things, though. These, rice, these peanut butter rice crispy thingies are awesome. Um, I always get the vanilla one because it's like the staple. It's a short break and then as soon as we get, we get back Monday, we start practice again Tuesday. Uh, just kind of be, kind of be a normal human being for a couple weeks and then get back to the grind when we get back. You saw last year, we played every guy in that room. So they better come with that attitude, ready to work, we, um, have that investment as they're going forward. They have a chance to be part of something special, you know, because I don't want to give Isaiah the ball 25, 30 times a game. I'd love to spread out the carries, you know, but you got to earn them. So the thing I'm going to tell you now is as you make that cut, it's got to be boom. It's got to have some burst. You got to have a change of speed. You got to have urgency with your cut. And then urgency coming back here. Don't be, don't act like you, this is period six. We ain't tired yet, okay? We ain't, yeah, we got four quarters of a game to play. You ain't gonna be tired just yet, all right? Outside Drake, outside Drake, good. Hey, you see that backer? Hey, you see that backer? 
you know, it's cool seeing those guys come in and battling every day because, you know, nobody has this spot right now, and they all know that. So it's pretty cool seeing them all do that. And then for me, you know, I'm just trying to go out there. I don't think really nothing changes for me. I got to, like, regardless of who's in, no matter what, I mean, I got to do my job. But, yeah, I think it's pretty cool, you know, to be right there beside them, you know, watching them, watching them all just compete. I think it makes everybody better, too. Isaiah's running style is Isaiah's running style, which is very different than JJ. So we got to be careful of him. He's not an avoid contact guy. He's a seeking, <laughs> searching, <laughs> seeking, destroy. You know, I mean, he's one of those guys. You know, he ran. For, what did he run for last year? How many yards? Eight something. Eight something to contact. Isaiah is getting hit every play. It's fun to watch him run around because he's not, um, he's not dancing through any any tackles. He's he's trying to run you over every play. I, I like to you know run through guys if, if I need to. I run around, I mean I, I try to run around them as well, but uh, just use my vision, see see where the holes are. I love it. Uh, it's awesome. Um, there's nothing better than opening a hole for some guy and running back comes right off your butt and all of a sudden. I mean, obviously, situations where it's not not as necessary. You know, you can get more yards running around somebody, but you know, if, if it's a time, there's not much space. They're right there. You know, when we lower my shoulder down, then try to get some extra yards. Woo. All right, now we're, we're how many practices in are we? Seven. Okay, and this whole spring, we've been trying to find those inches, right? And I told you when we started this thing, we we're talking about learning from the past producing in the present and preparing for the future. Well, that future for us eventually is going to be a Big Ten championship. And for us to get that, we got to win the inches now in spring ball, okay? All right, take care of yourselves. Make sure you're taking care of what you need to do. Effie out there, one, two, three. Effie. The one thing that I overlook every day is that I'm around sports each and every day. <laughs> and that's something that I've always wanted to do, whether I'm playing or talking about it or editing, cutting, whatever it is. With me being a student athlete and getting this opportunity with the network is, I think, second to none. And, you know, it's such a unique opportunity. I mean, I think that's why you come to a place like Northwestern. Um, you're literally in the backyard of one of the biggest markets in the country. So I think from that standpoint, we're just that much more better off than other schools, simply based off location. A lot of the stuff that I'll be doing for this week involves the Big Ten tournament and it being here in Chicago at the United Center. When you truly think about it, like, man, like, what do we get out here in 30 minutes? Like, 30-minute <laughs> drive and you're, you have access to pretty much everything. Um, so to experience that as an undergrad, I think that just, it just prepares you, you know, so much better than if you didn't have the exposure. Um, so it's, it's definitely a blessing. Good morning, how's everybody doing? Morning. Yeah, spring ball, baby. All right, Michael, go ahead, change this over. Every year we go out with the expectation that we're gonna prepare to win our first game, but playing a big opponent uh, away across the country is a daunting task. So I think guys are gonna be really prepared and locked in knowing that that's the, the first task of the season. Let's go, D! Investing, that's consistent hard work over time. For some of you young guys, welcome to the real world. Every day, day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. That's investing. You know, tuck our chin down and just go to work, you know, and, and not worrying about the outside sources and not worrying about anything externally, right? And just getting to work, putting in the work every day, day in and day out. Master. Master. Not kind of know, not have a little bit of an idea, not I think I know what we're doing, but take the time now to master what we're doing. And that includes the fundamentals and the techniques. When you go through individual, 
Those are the things that are going to make the difference for you to be a winner or a loser on a play over the long run. You know, we're going to stick with, with what we do here, which is, which is good. Um, all the guys on the team, you know, have a lot of experience and, and you know, really have bought into that, which, is, which has been great to see. The mental and physical habits that you need to do to be a championship football team. Let's enjoy the heck out of it. It's a game we love. It's a game that we enjoy playing. It's a game that we obviously always have to get better at. There's no better time than right now. Sound good? Okay, great. Let's have a great day! Come on, one, Push it! Right now it's my moment. I'm sorry, little homie. I said my condolence. King of this kingdom, you small like a rodent. Slow down for no one, my personal slogan. Clot in the veins, cause the butters are frozen. My light extra bright, look at me, cause I'm chosen. Hey, what are we doing this year? Day 10 chance. A Rose Bowl. Let's go. Going to get it. Every day we get in there. Yeah. Last one. Over and out. Spring Bowl 2019. That's all she wrote. Take a knee real quick. Thank you so much. As we go in now to the first phase of summer, the last part of the school year, as we all know, it's always about choices, the choices we make, okay? Let's do a great job being amazing Wildcat men, looking after each other, all right? The best that we've ever had is in the rear view mirror. Let's take it up a notch, all right? And we're building championship standards and championship expectations every day, okay? Because that's what this next phase is all about, man. Finishing the school year right, but getting the foundation finally solidified as we go into the 19th season.